Hey guys, it's Nigel. So, today I decided that we should do something a little bit different. In the past, I made lots of videos about me reviewing products and I really love them. Uh, so, I wanted to bring that back. So, today we are checking out the Nano Silver Ceramic Tools by Conair Pro. Actually, this is my second time purchasing this because I bought um, or I had the one inch for a very long time. And so I thought it was such a good flat iron that I wanted to bring it back to you guys and show you in the one and a half. Um, I used to have, or still have, the one inch flat iron that's exactly the same, Connor Pro Nano Silver, um, Nano Silver Ceramic Tools, but it's in a one inch instead of a one and a half. I just wanted something a little thicker since my hair is getting longer now. Um, this is in the one and one half, uh, inch um, with five inch extended plates um, it's got 50 heat settings up to 450 degrees Fahrenheit an on and off switch and then it also comes with like on the very back you can read like which setting is for what temperature so that's really awesome so you don't burn or fry your hair out well I'm really excited to try this out for you guys um, just a quick disclaimer I like to flat iron my hair a little bit differently uh, because I don't like the super thin look on myself so it might be hard for some of you guys to test and see if this flat iron is gonna work for you because I'm not using it the way that you might be using your flat irons at home um, but I still hope that this review is really helpful and I'm so excited to show you this product so let's get into it before I forget to mention I did purchase this product at Sally's for $69.99 um, if I cannot find the link to the ceramic flat iron in Sally's, I'll probably put a link through Amazon or something like that um, so you guys can find it and read the specs on it as well. But let me take down my hair. Oop, okay. This is what we have going on right now. Um, my hair has been blow dried, but I blow dried it a few days ago. Definitely blow dry your hair before you flat iron it because it just makes the flat ironing process that much easier and lots faster. So definitely do that. Um, yeah, my flat iron is nice and heated. It's really cute, it's nice and sleek. Um, it did heat up really fast. I think it only took 15 seconds for it to heat up. Um, the only concern that I have with this flat iron and what I've seen in the past for my old flat iron is that um, this particular flat iron does get like they do not want me to succeed they always want to mow the lawn while I'm trying to record a video like that's real cute that's real cute anyway the only concern that I have is that it is a white flat iron I know the box says silver but this is white and if you use it really frequently on really high heat settings, um, I feel like it will like start to turn brown, start to burn a little bit, maybe the paint will start to chip off. I don't know. This is just what I've experienced with my old flat iron. I'm using the BTZ um, Turn Up the Heat Flat Iron Protection. I love this stuff. It smells like watermelon. So I'm finally getting down to the bottom of it. I think this is actually my second time purchasing it. Uh, I, and I got it from Sally's, but I'm pretty sure they have it at like Walmart, CVS, any place where you can buy hair care products. I'm pretty sure they have this. Let's do a quick link check. My ends like are really not feeling the cutest. They feel really icky, but okay. This is where my hair is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start. And like I said, I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, but I do flutter my hair differently. Um, so I don't want people to get upset that I'm not, you know, flattering it to their standard of flatitude, flatitude. Um, this is all heated up now, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Interested in Great, the weirdo encyclopedia. Use, not math. <sighs> Look, it's funny. <sighs>
love it. Um, I think it's a really great flat iron. The only thing that I would say is be careful because um, if you have it for a while, it's definitely going to start changing colors. Like this is my one inch flat iron that I was telling you guys about. It's the same exact flat iron only in one inch instead of one and a half inches. And it's kind of got, it's like very yellow um, and has like burnt stuff on it. Uh, the white paint is chipping. Um, the plates are still in pretty good quality. Um, so yeah, just something to keep in mind. Like with any flat iron, you can't use it forever or you can't keep it forever. Um, so yeah, but overall, I love this flat iron. I would give it a thumbs up. Um, I don't have any negative things to say about this flat iron except for the fact that the color does make it susceptible to get dirty quicker. Um, but other than that, it's not a big deal. Um, I think it works really well. I know I used it on my when I was 100% natural and then when I was transitioning, transitioning and then also when I went back to texturize or text slacks, whatever you want to call it. So this flat iron definitely works good for lots of hair types. Um, if you have like thicker hair that's harder to flat iron, I would definitely suggest going for the one and a half inch um, as opposed to the one inch, but this one's really good too if you have thin hair, fine hair, or relaxed hair. This one works really well too. Okay, you guys, this is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you can join my beautiful family. And also, comment down below if you like this flat iron, if you've used this flat iron, if you want to try this flat iron, or know of really awesome flat irons that are a little more affordable that you would like to share with others. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I love you. Bye, beautiful.